It may be easy for you, it may not. Everyone in high school is required to take a PE class. Not everybody is physically capable to complete this class, however. School is meant to increase intelligence, not increase physical capability. When they don't have the strength, stamina, or coordination to do so. Today, we will go over a few points. First being the opposing opinion, the bullying, the struggle, and the embarrassment. All right, so they say that putting students in uh, PE classes helps them increase their physical abilities and to help them stay active. They also say that it helps non-intelligent kids Non-intelligent kids uh, have a better GPA when they can't pass basic education classes like everybody else. Uh, they're also graded on their effort and not their physical capability. And they say that bullying only occurs because of lack of participation and effort, not because of their physical abilities. All right. So... The f one of my first points uh, is the bullying that takes place. A lot of bullying happens because of the way students look when they're in an activity or what they do during an activity, although they say that it's because of their lack of participation and effort. This isn't always true. It's also because they also uh, get bullied because they have asthma or they can't run as fast, or they don't have similar strengths as all of us. Um, And these students stand out when being bullied, not only by students, but also by coaches and other teachers at the school. The second point would be the struggle. Certain activities such as the mile require a certain amount of time, and not all students can reach these measurements to get the good grade, leaving them failing that performance assignment. And because of this, it will lower the grade and it can affect their GPA. And this shouldn't be so, because we attend school for our intellects, not for our physical abilities. And then my third point would be the embarrassment. So imagine that you're running the mile and you finish, and you're with a group of people, and you can't go inside until somebody, the rest of the students finish, and there's like two students left. You'll hear murmuring and whispering of uh, those students laughing at the, uh, the students currently still running because they're not fast enough or their time is really bad. There's also the push-up sit-up test where some students get very low numbers compared to us and they get bullied for that. And they hear things such as, is that all they did? Um, it's not that hard or they could have done more, but really it is that hard for them. And then to recap, today we went over the opposing opinion, the bullying, the struggle, and the embarrassment. Thank you.